<clears throat> Hello, friends. Blobbity bloop, swibbity doop. All right. Time to finish this game. And it's my first playthrough of it, at least. Uh, this is the only, probably the only one I'm going to stream for a while. We've been playing together for a while now. We have. I was wondering, are we friends? We can be. Yes. I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? Not at all. I mean, I'm glad you said yes. Hmm. Wait. Yeah? Are, are you sure you should continue? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. I want to continue. Gotta... As you wish. Steamy. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Madam President! Flip! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President. Madam President. Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Please? Over here, please. Madam President. Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the Deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These Deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead.
follow me? You're gonna I'm gonna see you. Amanda. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Like your pool of light. This place makes me feel like um, Mass Effect. one but I got the majority all right change the elevator destination please indicate your identity and destination agent 54 level sub 49 voice recognition validated access off We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are, the moment of truth. Surrender immediately, or we will open fire. No, sir. Stand by. EA Media. We don't want confrontation. 
We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. <laughs> There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Whoa. Stay sharp. Uh-oh. Yeah, come on, Connor. I did not know there'd be a camera in there. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for saying hi, Sam. Hey, Dark. Yay. <laughs> Sam says hi. Spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Mm -hmm. Shantytown. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. All right. Hey, help me. Thanks, guys. Nice and easy. Okay.
Right, that should do it. I don't know, that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Thanks, Josh. Message to journalists, support your people, check soldier position. Okay. Support. Hey, buddy. It's gonna be okay. Are you alright? I know it's scary. They shot into the crowd. Any of us were killed. It could have been me. I know. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. We're here because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here. Hmm. Reassure probably would have been a better option, I think. Yeah, he does. All right, over. Yeah, he's got two of them. Three? Yeah, three bullet holes. Jeez. Poor Marcus. Whew. Okay. All right, people. Let's go. Fire in a barrel. Let's keep y'all warm. Yep. I did. Some good people died yesterday. Marcus, we found what you asked for. Okay. Thank you. Oh, fire. Fire. There you go, people. Mm, check soldiers' positions. Support your people. Send messages to journalists. Closer. It won't stop there. What are we going to do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. People, there's a people to support. Uh, maybe, or is that a just a bench? Oh, it's a magazine. 
They defy us. Androids rise up in Detroit. You look like a people. Hey, North. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're slaughtering us on the other side of that barbed wire. Nothing we can do about it. There's no other way out. They are going to kill us. No. That's not the only hope we have left is that we don't die for nothing. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Thanks, North. I appreciate it. All right. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Yeah. Marcus, come look. Okay. Yo, it's FBI dude. Marcus, come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on, you have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm gonna go. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. few minutes troops will be ordered to charge none of you will survive it'll all be over you can avoid that Marcus what do you mean surrender surrender and I give you my word your life will be spared you'll be detained but none of you will be destroyed Other demonstrations. Yeah. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android. You seem to really care about her. You didn't want her to die. 
Do you? You know, you could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. You asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. What happened, Marcus? What did he say? <laughs> the humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them that we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you gonna save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win. Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. <laughs> Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll don't take care move. of move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. Son, what's his name? 
Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one who took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... <laughs> I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Hmm. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Thanks, Hank. And yes, I agree. They should both have the same data regardless. If he uploaded his memory. Like, yeah. Wake up! Interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the deviants' demonstration by force this time.
Tell them to stand down. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. You ain't getting reelected. <laughs> may God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. You killed a lot of androids on your watch. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Then again, she did eventually come to the side of peace, so I guess better late than never. Could have been much worse. Speak to them, Marcus. Also, could end sooner. No. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda. Amanda? Amanda? What? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Oh no. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. our heads up and tell humans who we really are 
No, Connor. Stop and tell it. them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. Let's take it. Get over there. Go, Connor. Get to that control panel. Right there. Come on, buddy. Reach. Come on. Come on, Donna. where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and back. our oppressors, and tomorrow, <sighs> we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now we are free. Goodness. <laughs> I'm guessing that there was a hidden timer in that Connor section there. And if I hadn't reached the hand fast enough, yeah, things would have gone gotten kind of bittersweet there. Whew. Alright. I wanted Connor and Alice have to die. Dang it. Yeah. They they got Yeah, they got gunned down leaving the ship. I I was just doing it. I did everything Alice asked me to do, and that ended up getting us both killed. I saved all the people she wanted, and instead of fighting back, I ran. And that got us both killed. I just wanted to make her proud. I still feel like they pulled a bait and switch unnecessarily by making her an android at the end. I feel like it could have lent to a lot of the a lot of the significance of the plot if it turned if she was human the whole time and still in regardless of whether she was, you know, gunned down or or not or or survived like she would have she could have been a very you know integral piece in that messaging it's like look this human's been with us the the whole time like this this android protected her from her you know abusive father and they've they formed a very personal bond and i mean we still got the human android relationship with um uh Connor and Hank but I don't know it 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 
feels like, I don't know, it just feels like there was, I'd, I'd love to see some interviews with the writers or something talking about that. Cause in my mind, it feels like it was kind of forced on them to, to make Alice an android partway through. What up, Hank? Okay. Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'll watch the, um, uh, Ferroso says, I highly suggest popping into the extras and watching the car short real quickly, so I'll do that after the credits. Interesting way to do the, uh, acting credits. Like, I'd have much preferred them put the actors with their characters. But... At least, you know, at least the actors' names are there. I guess they're just trying to keep it short and sweet. It looks like it's the same thing with all the other, uh, all the other types of jobs as well. They're not being specified. Oh well. <laughs> there, anyway, look it up if you want to. It's <laughs> online. Yeah, someday I'm sure I'll come back and play through making vastly different choices. I mean, I could have been a violent uh, radical if I wanted to in this. I chose a very peaceful route. I like like North's relationship is everything on the pacifist track she hates but you have one scene where you quickly ramp up until she lo and she suddenly loves you in that one scene and then still everything else you say she hates <laughs> but she's your lover say what 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 I disagree with you ideologically on everything but I love you all right.
I think the next big game I'm gonna play is God of War, the new, the newest one. I still haven't gotten around to it. And everyone says it's wonderful. Boy. Marcus, yep, I I was I was a very peaceful boy. I didn't fight back. Well, unless, you know, I can I had to. Marcus didn't really kill many, if any, people. Like even when he had a, had the chance at the end to when he was, you know, fighting in real time with the with the army soldiers. He had a gun trained on one, and he and instead just made him move out the way. Uh, so yeah, and uh, he lived, North lived, Simon lived, Josh lived, Connor lived, and and didn't kill Marcus. <laughs> uh, Hank lived, <sighs> Luther lived, but we didn't get to see Luther at the end. We assume he lived. He might have died on the ship. He might have gotten blown up. He said he'd meet Alice and... Hmm. He said he'd meet Alice and Kara at the border. But that could have just been him, you know, making them leave. Like... Or it's possible he's just waiting for him at the border. They died. They have to die. <laughs> Dang it. All right. Like, it's possible to save everyone. I just didn't manage it. Moral victory. Androids won freedom for the moment. Dun dun dun. This is my story. Undefeated. 
I guess it, oh, that was Connors, right on. All right. All right. Shall we continue? There's something I need to tell you. Okay. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. She's feel becoming human. I am someone. Yeah. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. Be free. But I'll be free. Yeah. <laughs> Do you agree to let me go? Of course. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Go be Detroit. Thank you. Become human. Bye, friend. Cool. All right. Uh, extras. New. Wanted to look at that, I guess, video of the car thing. Short, short, short. Mm. Mm. Ah, short movie. Kara. Is this the one? Okay, there it is. I get to unlock things with my points. The following footage is a prototype running in real time on PlayStation 3. It's a concept. Blah, 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 blah. KPC 897504C. Can you move your head? Your eyes now. Cervical and optical animation checked. Now give me your initialization text. Hello. I'm the third generation AX400 Android. I can look after your house, do the cooking, mind the kids. I organize your appointments. I speak 300 languages, and I am entirely at your disposal as a sexual partner. No need to feed me or recharge me. I am equipped with a quantic battery that makes me autonomous for 173 years. Do you want to give me a name? Yeah. From now on, your name is Kara. My name is Kara. Initialization and memorization check. Now, can you move your arms? Limb connection checked. Now say something in German. Ich bin ein AX400 Android dritter Generation. Erschaffen als ihr persönlicher Assistent und intimer Beziehungspartner. Say it in French. Je suis un Android de troisième génération AX400 conçu pour être votre assistant personnel et votre partenaire intime. Okay, now sing something in Japanese. Sakura, Sakura. Multilingual verbal expression check. Go ahead, take a few steps.
Locomotion checked. Great, you're ready for work, honey. What's going to happen to me now? I'll reinitialize you and send you to a store to be sold. Sold? I'm a sort of merchandise. Is that right? Yeah. Of course you're merchandise, baby. I mean, you're a computer with arms and legs and capable of doing all sorts of things. And you're worth a fortune. Oh, I see. I... I thought... You thought? What did you think? I thought... I was alive. Shit, what is this crap? That's not part of the protocol. More memory components going off the rails. Okay, recording. Defective oh, model. Man. Disassemble and check the required components. You're disassembling me, but why? You're not supposed to think that sort of stuff. You're not supposed to think at all, period. You must have a defective piece or a software problem no, somewhere. No, I feel perfectly fine, I assure you. Everything is alright. I answered all the tests correctly, didn't I? Yeah, but your behavior is non-standard. Please, I'm begging you, please don't disassemble me. I'm sorry, honey, but defective models have to be eliminated. That's my job. If a client comes back with a complaint, I'm gonna have some explaining to do. I won't cause any problems, I promise. I'll do everything I'm asked to. I won't say another word. I won't think anymore. But I've only just been born. You can't kill me yet. Stop, will you please? Stop! I'm scared! I want to live. I'm begging you. Go and join the others. Stay in line, okay? I don't want any trouble. Thanks. So, yeah, that was really well done. So was this like the, not, I guess, kind of trailer or um, uh, kind of, I maybe sales pitch for this this concept for the concept of this game. Gotcha. Yeah, that's that's really good. Yeah. My gosh. I'm so glad the operator showed some humanity. All right. Oh. <laughs> this is a really powerful game. There's some good stuff. Oh.
Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. What's photogrammetry of the though? Photogrammetry. Gotcha. Yeah, all the shorts are worth watching, but if you only watch one, it should be that one. Yeah. For those interested in Detroit, become human. <laughs> and those interested in watching all these shorts, I recommend investing in the game yourself. This was this was obviously a very big and impassioned project. There's so much heart in it, and uh, Quantic Dream, the producers, the company who made this game, I, I, I am happy to support them. So that's my suggestion. Go get it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a little bit of money. <laughs> if you want to see all these. Photogrammetry. It's a texturing technique that uses photography and capture color material properties as well. As... Rockin'. Okay. So, yeah. All the very real looking, you know, scanning textures and stuff. Photogrammetry. R makes sense. Yeah, so far, like, this is right up there with, um, uh, what was the game that I just recently played? Uh, the one, the Sonora's Sacrifice, or Sonora's Sacrifice. Uh, that one, it used really, really good, the same principles, the same, you know, close face, mocap, and, uh, photogrammetry and all that to make some really, really compelling look and focus on uh, on a character. Um, I think once the uh, once the Oculus Rift S comes out, I think I'm going to invest in that and probably play through uh, that game again at some point. I'd love to see it from I guess that intended perspective. Mm. Yay. On the 24th of this month. Rockin'. Cool. Yeah, I've been saving up for it. It's available for order. Cool. Maybe I should just go ahead and do that. Ew! I can unlock heads. What? I can go with you if you want to just do lunch. Huh? Just a sec. Hold on. the uh, Vive? The Vive, yeah, that's right. Yeah. From what I understand about the Rift S, it's some quality of life upgrades, but it's not, it wasn't enough to, um, you know, call it the Rift 2. It sounds like they're wanting to implement pr probably wait till they have, like, finger gloves or something like that or some kind of system that'll detect more more things until they uh, have a Rift 2 Oh, Index is the uh, Steam. Cool. <clears throat> oh, yeah, rocking. That's a good point. Rift 2 will likely have eye tracking for uh, focal rendering, facial rendering, rather, uh, and facial capture. I could see that, yeah. That would make sense. Wonder when that's supposed to come out. 
I don't want to buy a Rift S the next year they come out with a better awesome model. But we have no real knowing. The Rift S, uh, from one now I'm talking about other games while I'm just sitting here. Uh, but yeah, like they have the super comfy Halo helmet, so that looks fun. And all you have to do it, it has a, I, I like how it's built. It's very, it's very sleek. I like the sleekness of the tightening system on it. It's kind of like a construction helmet or something. Uh, just one knob, uh, and better better lenses so you get less of the um, kind of chicken wire great look uh, and no cameras which is my this that's the biggest selling point for me no cameras uh, I thought about the quest yeah all right but cool have a good one Raider it has been a blast cool yeah 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 all right well, I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, for those interested in this game, uh, there are plenty more routes to to explore and cry your eyes out at. Um, very powerful game, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll probably come back to it someday. Uh, for now, I'm happy with the, you know, having just finished it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Uh, I feel more inclined to come back to this to try different routes on this than I did with like Undertale I was very happy with my like true pacifist route with Undertale it's like, That's, I'm done I don't want to I don't want to kill everything or anything uh but, yeah, I feel more curious to see the... Because, like, it's not... Like, it, it, I feel like there's a lot more... There, there's not a lot more clear variance here. Hmm. Yeah. It'd be a neat one to come back to sometime. For now, I think I'll probably just uh, for the next couple streams uh, play a little bit more of my Breath of the Wild profile. But uh, I think the next big game I'm going to tackle is God of War. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, have a good one, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you next time. Bye.